This video is brought to you by our friends from hitpow.com. More about them later on. Today we are unboxing, setting up and taking a closer look at the Apple HomePod Mini. This is the all new HomePod Mini from Apple in orange which was launched about two weeks ago here in United Kingdom. And while we are at the end of the year so far at least I think this is the best mini home office speaker you can buy. The HomePod Mini comes with multiple colors, space gray, blue, yellow, white and orange. Let us know in the comment section what color is yours. This HomePod Mini will be a good investment priced at £89 in UK or $99 in US and for that you will get a full range driver and a dual passive radiator for deep bass and crisp high frequencies. It also comes with a custom acoustic waveguide for a 360 degrees sound field. This speaker is compatible with almost all iPhone lineups and iPads and this nicely brings us to our sponsor HitPow.com. HitPow has a selection of softwares such as video editor, screen recorder, watermark remover and also photo enhancer based on Windows at this current time of this video. Coming soon for Mac users, sorry. The platform offers monthly, annually and lifetime purchase system and the one that most attracted to me is the screen recorder priced at $9.99 for a monthly fee or for a lifetime fee as one of $49.99. If you purchase in bundles, you will receive a whopping discount of 30%. Link is in the description should you wish to explore HitPal softwares. For what it is worth, let's get on with the unboxing. I was super excited to get these into my hands to test them out, mainly because I have not tested out any Apple speakers in this channel, considering that I have deemed Harman Kardon speakers and many other third party brands. And here it is, this is the new orange HomePod Mini. This looks well nice, indeed, I am really pleased I went with this color. Under the speaker are the setup guide with Apple stickers and finally the plug and it is a 20 watt brick with it also USB-C. I must report taking a closer look at this it is pleasant in the hand and awesome little speaker. Like I said this is my first ever HomePod mini speaker as I am usually a Google speaker and we have a dedicated video review on Harman Kardon speakers link can be found in the description box. I was psyched to see how this HomePod mini would perform compared to Harman Kardon speakers tested out in this channel plus HomePod HomePod mini only cost £89 which is still a lot of money but not as much as Harman Kardon Google speakers which is priced around £179. So this puts HomePod mini in the centre to a more affordable market even though it shares almost all of the premium features Apple technology such as touch controls, voice recognition commands and my favourite intercom transcription which means I can send a message without typing. I have had them for about two weeks now and the best way I can describe them are interesting. Let me explain but before we get into the review, in case if you're new here, I am AP Tech and I would really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up, it really does help me out and in case if you're a tech fan like myself, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that way you can stay up to date with all of the reviews. Let's talk about the physical design which is not hard to see that HomePod mini are designed to fit anywhere in the house. Its elegantly shape is wrapped in a seamless mesh fabric that looks transparent which allows sound to pass through with no difficulty. Additionally, this is my favourite. The backlit touch surface on the top provides easy of control. Since these are super portable, I will be visiting Apple Store soon to purchase more of these. Here is a comparison size with my iPhone 13 Pro. The HomePod mini is 3.3 inch height, 3.9 inches wide and 0.76 pounds weight wise. I must admit this speaker is jam packed with innovation. HomePod mini delivers unexpectedly big sound for a speaker of its size. This tiny little speaker can fill my entire room which also sounds amazing for every angle but please do not expect insane loudness from 3.3 inch tall speaker. The first thing I noticed when taking out HomePod mini out for the first time was just how heavy the speakers are and the soft fabric mesh. As you can see here the reason for this design is it means it does not actually interfere with the sound and it means it can provide 360 degree sound all around the back. 
Around the back, it has a permanently USB-C cable, so you cannot remove, but I like the fact that this is a thick cable, which is actually similar to the new MacBook cables. The bottom is also color-coded, showing Apple logo, and it has a decent grip when it sits on your desk or a bedside table. At the top, the large white panel, which gives you control plus minus icon touches, and they are actually color matched with the speaker orange. Likewise, the other colors will have similar features. They give you really satisfying feeling when holding. Setting up the HomePod mini is one of the easiest you can do. You will need an iPhone or an iPad and a plug to main socket and wait for the power to come on. Once it is powered on, simply place your iPhone near and just wait for a notification to prompt you and it will ask you to pair slash set up which room you wish to add onto. And within about a minute, it's good to go. Shall we test it? Hey Siri, what can you do? I can do anything you command. Test me right now. Siri, can you ask my audience to hit the like button if they haven't yet? Dear AP Tech family, hit the like button if you have not yet. As previously mentioned, it is aesthetically pleasing, so deciding where you need to place it, it won't be had. It practically fits every single room or a shelf, and obviously you will need where you can reach a power. So far, I have sockets dotted around my house, so it's not an issue. I would definitely want one for my studio, one for my bed unit, and probably two in my living room. This will also be useful for turning on or off lights and other smart devices. Give me your suggestions suggestions where you would place them. Now, when it comes to functionality, it has some welcome features such as AirPlay on any device, for example, when watching a movie or playing game for that extra sound experience. You can also transfer music instantly by bringing your iPhone and tapping the speaker. And same again, if I want to cancel the speaker, all I have to do is just repeat the same process and this will return the music to my phone. It works really great with Apple Music as this is what it is marketed for. Unfortunately, if you are a Spotify user like myself, Spotify is not natively integrated, so you cannot say, hey Bob, play today's top hits on Spotify, but Spotify does not work with the mini. What you actually need to do is airplay it from Spotify app, which means you are using your iPhone, but at least you are able to use it. The more Apple or Apple compatible products you have in the house, the more these HomePod mini will be more useful. You will be able to command your Apple TV, smart lights, your security system and much more. The more I think about this, I'm starting to think that the HomePod mini may be more geared towards to Apple users only. The sound quality is insanely amazing and obviously the bass is high which is well known for Beats Studios. Since Beats are acquired by Apple, they can use Beats technology which is instantly noticeable profile. It is actually quite pleasant. It is really great listening for hip hop, R&B and still decent for things like podcast that sounds better with more balanced sound profile. Finally, these are super easy to use if you're looking to buy mini speaker that does not break the bank and you are a iPhone user or any other Apple products, then these minis are for you. They are extremely well made and they provide great user experience at a price that's more reasonable. Well, you have just made to the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching and if you drop a hashtag what color HomePod mini you would prefer in the comment section, I will give you a thumbs up as I know you're still here. Don't forget forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Can you also follow us over Instagram? Until next time, peace out.